This is Lisa Moon with Paper Moon Painting and this is my fabulous office. I wanted to talk about why I chose this beautiful Chinese inspired wallpaper by Tebo and what to watch out for when you're picking a bold graphic wallpaper like this one. So I love bright patterns and colors but I also love white and I love lots of light. So this space energizes me. It has the high energy uh, pattern and color that I love but the rest of the office is painted in Sherwin Williams Shoji White, S-H-O-J-I. And so that keeps it fresh and bright and allows me to not feel overwhelmed. Now, when you're picking a bold graphic wallpaper like this one, there are a few things to watch out for. If you look at any inspiration photos online, maybe like on Pinterest or on house.com, you'll see that these strong papers are usually paired with a lot of negative space and usually lots of white. There might be white wainscoting or white crown molding. Maybe there's big, wide, white trim around the windows, or there's white plantation shutters or drapes. The furnishings will be simple. Probably the sofa is going to be upholstered in white, or there will be a big, white upholstered headboard in a bedroom. The point is, this has to be kept manageable, and the white does that. Now, in this office, I don't have wainscoting or trim, but I've got a white desk, I've got a white leather chair, and the most important thing that makes this wall work is these white prints. These are actually photos of my travels, but I got them framed in big oversized white frames with the white mats, mainly because I needed these chunks of white to keep this paper from feeling too much. So if you love big, bold patterns and colors, especially something as groovy as this, go for it. Just make sure you incorporate lots of white or lots of negative space. Keep it manageable. You'll love it. Thanks.